So now we are going to look at another example. What is the mass of 0 0.2 mol of calcium carbonate? What is the mass of 0 0.2 mol of calcium carbonate? So I think it's simple. Remember uh, from the previous video, the mass of carbon is 12, oxygen 16, calcium is 14. So we have how many calcium we have? One, so it's one times 40. So we have one times 40. And then that is why we have 40 here. Then we have one carbon. So we have one times 12. So that is why we have 12 here. Then we have three oxygen. And that is why we said three times 16. And we have 100 gram per mole. And then so we have to get the mass. Remember, I gave you a formula where we said mole is equal to uh, mole is equal to mass all over molar mass. So here, what we want to calculate, we want to actually calculate mass. That is what we are looking for. We want to calculate mass. So what are we going to do? We now do cross multiplication. So therefore, we have mass is equal to mole n times molar mass capital letter m. So the mole from the question is 0 0.2. So we are now going to set 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times the molar mass. And the molar mass is 100 gram per mole. So times 100, times 100 gram per mole. Therefore, at the end, we have 20.0 gram. So that is how to calculate mass. And then the next thing now is calculate the number of gold atoms in 20 gram of gold ion. So this one is also simple. I remember, we talk about um, how to calculate the number of atoms, where we talk about the number of elementary entities. So it's simple. We have the mass, and we have the molar mass of gold. So the mass of gold is 20, and the molar mass is 197. So it's simple. We're now going to set mole. Mole, mole is equal to mass all over molar mass, capital letter M. Then it's equal to 20 divided by 197. 197. So whatever we get from here is our mole. So the mole you obtain from here, we we'll use that the same formula. The same formula which says mole is equal to in this case, we want to calculate the number of atoms. So we are now going to set number of atoms, number of atoms, number of atoms divided by 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. And remember from here, the answer we get here is our number of moles. And then now you just do the cross multiplication at the end we have, we will end up of having number of atoms, number of atoms, number of atoms is equal to the mole we obtain and we multiply it with 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. And at the end, this is what we are going to get as our final answer. So now we have another question. Given that the molar mass of water is 18 gram per mole, A, what is the mass of four mole of water molecules? B, how many molecules are there? C, how many atoms are there? So it's, this one is also simple. What we are going to do now is we just, we want to calculate the mass. What is the mass? So remember we said mole, is equal to mass all over molar mass. We have mass is equal to mole equals to mass all over molar mass. So we have our mole. Our mole is four mole here. We have four mole. We have four mole is equal to mass, which is unknown. And then we have our molar mass, which is 18. 18. So what do we do now? We do cross multiplication this time this. Then we now have mass is equal to 4 times 18. 
So whatever we get as our final answer is our mod. And then B. The B says, the B says how many molecules are there? This one is also simple. Remember, mole is equal to, I'm now going to say mole is equal to number of molecules, number of molecules, number of molecules divided by 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. And already we have our mole here, which is 4 mole. So we are just going to set 4 times 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23 is equal to the number of molecules. The number of molecules. So you just say 4 times this. So whatever you get when you multiply this times this is the number of molecules. And then now, C, how many atoms are there? So what we are going to do, remember we have four molecules. We have four molecules. And now we want to know how many atoms are there in four molecules of water. In four molecules of water. So it's simple. You have to break these compounds in because we are talking about number of atoms. So we have two atoms of hydrogen and plus one atoms of oxygen. So therefore, it means that we have three atoms of three atoms from oxygen. And remember, we said four molecules. So since it is four molecules and we have three atoms, then we have we now we have to multiply this four times three. Then at the end, we have twelve atoms, twelve atoms in total. So now to calculate the number of atoms that are present in 12 atoms, then you now say this 12 times 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. And whatever you get after you multiply this and this is your final answer. So we have another example here. The question says, find the volume of a pipe by 3.55 gram of chlorine gas at room temperature. So this one is also simple. When you said chlorine gas, it means two, more, two atoms of chlorine. And remember, more, uh, chlorine is diatomic. It's always coming as diatomic. So we are now going to say two times, two times, the molar mass of chlorine is 35.5. So 2 times 35.5, we have 71 gram per mole. Then now we are going to calculate mole. So mole is equal to mass all over molar mass. So the mass given here is 33.55 divided by 71. So when you will when you divide this, you will end up of having 0 0.05 mole. And remember, I gave you a formula which says mole is equal to volume all over 22. Point four dm cube. So it's simple. We have our mole here at 0 0.05. So you can just simply make V subject of the formula. So V, which is volume, is now equals to N, which is mole, times 22.4. Therefore, we now have four. Sorry, we now have our mole is 0 0.05 times times 22.4. So therefore at the end we have at the end we have 1.12 dm cube. 
So this is our volume. This is how to calculate the volume. And then another example now is then uh, find the number of molecules that are further in this. So it's simple. We are now going to set mole is equal to volume all over 22.4 dm cube. So the volume here is we have 4.48. But in cm cube, so you have to convert this 22.4 dm cube into centimeter cube. And how do you do that? We multiply it by 1000. We multiply it by 1000. So if we multiply it with 1000, we are going to have 2240 cm cube. So now, how do we divide it? We are now going to say, um, I'm now going to say 4.48 divided by 22 point, so 22.40, which is equal to 0 0.02 more. So we have 0 0.02 more. So after we have this, then we're going to calculate the number of molecules. And it's simple. From our previous slide, we have mole is equal to the number of the number of molecules divided by 22, sorry, divided by 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23. So therefore, if we now make the number of molecules as a subject of the formula, number of molecules as a subject of the formula we now have equals to the number of moles is 0 0.002 then to 0 0.02 times 0 0.02 times 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23 so whatever we get is our number of molecules thank you